Hey guys, it's John P. from Geek Beat. We are here at the National Restaurant Association show and I'm about to show you the coolest LED light you've ever seen from Switch. Hey, so I'm here with Deb from Switch. Thanks for letting us come over and take up some of your time today. It's my pleasure, thank you for coming by. So I was actually really interested in seeing your stuff because I am a huge fan of LEDs. Most of you guys know I remodeled my house recently and believe it or not, I took like a 1960s house. We had over 50 of these canned kind of lights in the house. We yanked them all out, replaced them with 50 LEDs. Now it was not cheap. They cost about 50 bucks a piece. Okay. But when all was said and done, I think we're using 1 20th the energy with these things that we were using with the old ones, you know? So I guess you guys have some really innovative LED lights for doing that kind of thing, replacing yes. old, get rid of the old, get in with the new, right? Yes, we do. We make, uh, we're focusing right now on the A-lamp, which is the typical Edison socket bulb. Uh, kind, of, kind of looks like a regular light bulb, the shape and size of one. And it should fit in any fixture that you currently have, uh, incandescent or a compact fluorescent um, bulb. And what makes the switch bulb unique is that we use a liquid cooling system to take the heat off of the LEDs that are enclosed inside of our glass globe. The other LED a lamps are typically taking the heat off of the bottom on the cone part. We're taking it off the entire device. The other thing, the other benefit we get from the glass and the liquid cooling system is that it helps us um, bend the lights so we get the full incandescent glow. Look, kinda, exactly. Yeah. Instead of being very directional LED-ish, it's, it's kind of... It's the perfect replacement for an incandescent. Well, I do notice, because I was doing so much LED bulb research, the, the cooling fins are much smaller on these. Uh, a lot of the LED bulbs that, that I saw uh, have huge bases, and they wouldn't even fit in certain um, recesses, so that's really neat. And by the way, guys, these are hefty. I mean, they're really solid, and, and by the way, they're awesome, too. They look really cool. Well, thank you. Um, we've won a lot of awards for both performance and aesthetics, and particularly in the restaurant world, you want something that makes a statement and provides a dramatic lighting effect, and so our clear version is often the go-to bulb for that in a restaurant or a hotel type of environment. Because it's a real differentiator. I mean, yeah. people can look at it and they can see. Uh, I mean, it may be blowing out the camera here, but what I'm seeing is a lot of little hot LED lights going around. It looks very unique. You know it's not a normal bulb. And also the trend right now is to go with the retro clear incandescent bulbs with miles of filament. And so that look is very trendy. Um, one of the things that we're able to do with the um, clear version is going into uh, a historic building with, with cut glass and chandeliers. Something about the clear switch bulb makes those fixtures um, just light up. Light up, definitely. <laughs> awesome. Now you also, in my hand, I've got one that says it's a 60 watt equivalent, I guess, and it says it's eight, putting out 800 lumens. You have one that's very unusual. This one is labeled three-way. What do you mean? Um, the three-way switch bulb is just like a three-way incandescent. All of us probably have three-way lamps in our homes or certainly hotels do. Um, often though we have them as one level because we've forgotten that we needed to buy the bulb that yeah. could go to three levels or we've put compact fluorescents in and they don't go to the three levels. Yeah. With the switch bulb you put one bulb in, you click it one time it comes on oh, one right. level, click it again it's brighter and then all the way to the third Already level. But a lot of us have forgotten yeah. that we have this opportunity yeah. so. You, I think you know you have one of those lamps if you turn it twice, twice and it and turns it on, on twice and it turns off. That's a three-way people you can yes. replace it one with. Now and this is I believe the only three-way LED option. Yeah I have never seen one before so I just have to ask does it light up like every third bulb and then you turn on the second one and it lights up other or how does no. it work? No it just increases the light out of all of the LEDs as you go up. Very cool. So you still get that cool look, but at yeah. each level if the, you wanted to do it. This is the frosted version, so it'll be a more diffused more type diffused. of light. 
And the other benefit of the switch um, A-lamp line is that we can put this bulb in any fixture and in any orientation, including that is a more industrial type of fixture that you would find in the back part of a kitchen. But it's a kind of a harsh environment. That usually is over a exhaust, an exhaust hood over a cooking area or in the walk-in cooler. And um, because of the... So they're really durable. Very durable, and they also um, manage the heat so well that in all of those environments, you will not compromise the lifetime of this bulb. All right, so I got two more questions for you. Number one, what is the lifetime of one of these bulbs? Um, they are rated for 25,000 hours. Um, we are have a warranty of five years on commercial, lifetime on residential. Okay. Now, then you know what the next question is. How much do they cost? Yeah, because the people are going to be looking at this ROI kind of thing. Um, well, I can tell you in the retail environment, mm -hmm. somewhere between $40 and $60, dollars, depending on the bulb. Um, when we go for restaurants and hotels, we look at a project cost and the number of bulbs and that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, they'd be buying a lot of bulbs. And then we work out the ROI because this is a different sort of purchase than buying a compact fluorescent or a 50 cent incandescent. So we look at over the to cost total lifetime, uh, at what point have you paid off the front end cost and are, is it all savings to you? And so um, we're finding some very attractive uh, return on investment or total cost of ownership uh, situations. So that's what we, that's what the paradigm shift in the LED space is. It's not how much does it cost, it's what is my opportunity for savings yep. and, and how soon will I get there? I totally get that, you know, and I've seen that too, even in the non-commercial space. You know, we had to make a decision. We invested in $2,500 worth of LED bulbs in our home. And so we had to say, well, we're doing this once and then we're good pretty much forever. So I think another opportunity that people have is in new construction. If you're doing it that yeah. way, you can bundle these things into the cost right up front, pay it all in the mortgage, and then you don't get hit with the same kind of, um, you know, upfront fees you just kind of have an ongoing cost so yes, thank you so much for showing us these they're awesome i would love to have one to test out later on not here at the show but um, you guys stay tuned we're going to do a lot more coverage here at the national restaurant association and stay tuned on geekbee.tv and youtube.com forward slash geekbee tv give us a thumbs up guys see you later <laughs>